Okay, today we're going to learn how to size and save one of your photos using Photoshop. Um, first, we're going to start by going to File, <coughs> New. And here we can name your file. Uh, this is my first photo. And I want it 8 inches wide by 10 inches high. If yours is more of a landscape photo, then you're going to do 10 inches wide by 8 inches high. The resolution needs to be at least 180 pixels per inch. Uh, sticking with that keeps them a pretty good size. I like to go with a transparent background. And so then you'll click OK. And then it is a little slow here. It should pop up in a moment. Come on, you can do it. There it is. Okay, and down here we've got the layer. And so this is layer one. Uh, my image is going to go right here. Uh, I've got the image I want to put over here on this side. Uh, I'm going to drag it on top of the image. And hopefully it will take a little less time than the last one. Now that image uh, apparently was a pretty small image. Uh, but I'm going to try and stretch it, stretch it, hopefully it won't pixelate. Yours should be bigger. So I have to hold down the shift key and grab one of the corners. Do not grab one of the middle handles. You want to grab the corner and you want to keep the shift key down to start with. Now I'm going to click and drag the corner to make it bigger. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go grab the other corner here. I'm still holding the shift key down. And I've got a little bigger than my image. And so I just screwed up. I let go of my shift key before I let go of the clip. And you see how it distorted my image. All of a sudden, my image is distort distorted because I let go of the shift key before I let go of the clip. So I'm going to hit uh, delete here. I'm going to unclick it and try that again. So click, drag over, hold down the shift key, drag it up. Down. Keep holding it down, grab the other corner, but I'm making sure it's bigger than what I wanted. I'm keeping the shift key down this time. And then I unclick, and now I let go. And now I can position it, uh, kind of crop it to where I want. I've got a little extra room at the bottom. I'm using the arrow keys to move it around. Um, that's looking pretty good. Uh, so I think I'll go with it there, hit enter, and it places the image. Now, one thing, thing that happens here is down this corner on this layer, there's a little symbol here that says that this is a smart object. And we don't want it to be a smart object. See, there it says, smart object thumbnail. We want it to just be our regular image. So the way we get rid of that is we go up to Layer, and we go down to Rasterize, Smart Objects, and then we let go, and now that is no longer a smart object. It's just a layer thumbnail. We're in good shape. So now the final step is going to be we're going to save this image, and I want you to practice 
saving it both ways. Normally, you're going to just save the JPEG, but if you were doing a lot of work on it and wanted to be able to come back to it, you'd want to save it as your PSD. Down here it says it's a Photoshop.psd. Now I'm working on a PC, so it looks a little different than the Mac. But I can go ahead and save my PSD. I'm going to save it to my desktop and find the folder that I want to put it in. And I'll put it in my SH classes. And I'll just save it there. Now I want to save it one more time. This is the way you're normally going to save it. You want to save it as a JPEG. The save as again. And I'll go down here and instead of a Photoshop.psd, I'm going to choose JPEG. And so here it says JPEG, it says .jpg instead of .psd. And I'll save that. And so it asks when I'm saving a JPEG, it does ask you what size you want it. Um, a 10 quality is usually kind of good. Um, right now, it tells me right here that it's one megabyte size. If I want a little smaller size, uh, I can still keep it at high quality. And it's down to 431 kilobytes. So um, I'm going to go ahead and save that. And that's our demonstration for today. So you're going to try and do this assignment. Good luck.